Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Mask in Adobe After Effect. So friend, Mask is one of the most powerful tool in Adobe After Effect. It allows you to cut out and combine a different elements together. In Adobe After Effect, using a mask, you can build a quick and easy transition like this. In this video, we are going to learn the following things about mask. Can I please continue? Okay, okay. So guys, this effect is also done by mask. So this I also show you in a practical. So in this video, we are going to learn these following things. What is mask? What mask actually do? How to create a particular mask and properties of different mask. And we are also going to see mask animation. So friend, first we have question that what is mask? So mask allow you to determine the visibility of specific parts of a layer, similar feature that may already been familiar if you are using a Photoshop, Illustrator or any other image editing softwares or apps. So first I'm importing two footages in a row footage. I have one still footage, okay, where a boy sitting on a looking out from a train and another I have a video. Fine. So I have a two footages. One is a image and second is a video. So what we are doing first time fit to the composition for fit this uh, image to the composition. You can use control alt F or else you can also scale it out. Okay. So I have this footage where this boy is looking out from the train and I have a second footage this. Okay. Where the train is moving. I'm just also fit to the composition. Fine. So as you can see, this is my video footage and this is my still footage. So what I am doing, I am just removing this frame, this window frame and putting that uh, video from that side. Now to creating a mask, you can use a tool from the tool. You can see so many tools like rectangle tools, rounded rectangle tools, ellipse tools, polygon tools, star tools. These all shape you can use as a mask, but compulsory that should be selected a layer in a timeline panel. So if you are not selecting any layer and if you are try to creating a rectangle tool, then automatically it will create a shape layer. Okay. And if I am selecting this layer, and then I am creating the rectangle tool then this will be create as a mask so this I am creating a mask you can create a different mask like this all five and also you can use a pen tool so in this case I am using a pen tool to creating this mask so I'm just selecting this pen tool and I'm just zoom that so I can uh, select properly okay so using a pen tool, I am removing this window so we can replace it with that moving train video. So guys, as you can see, I'm creating this mask on our still footage. Now, just because of it mask, it will be masking that uh, uh, footage. Okay. Now I'm just selecting this footage and inside this mask. Okay. There is an option which add, subtract, interact, lighten, darken and difference. Now I want to subtract this mask from this footage. So I'm just selecting subtract. So the rest of the part is selected. And as you can see, our moving train video is behind this uh, footage. That's why it automatically appear. So I'm just playing this. So as you can see, our mask is created. Also, I'm just increasing this little bit of like this. Fine. See now, as you can see, the now there are the uh, sharp edges. Now, to make it soften, you can go to the mask. Okay, in the mask, there is an option feather. Just to make it ten. 
certificate okay as you can see now you can see the soft edges around this mask fine now just play this so like this you can use a mask in very effective or creative way so this is a one example where I am just removing the windows from the steel footages and uh, in the background I am putting a moving train so this is our final output now you can also using a shape to convert it to the mask now I am showing you that I am just deleting this mask fine I have again that uh, footage I am just creating one shape with a pen tool because I am not selecting the footage so now it will be automatically creating a shape or you can also create one new shape from here and then using a pen tool you can create a shape over here for now I am just roughly creating a shape to show you how you can convert a shape into the mask so as you can see this is our shape now if you want to convert this shape into the mask then it is simple just off this layer shape layer and go to this uh, steel footage and here you can see track mat just select this none and you can select alpha invert mat so guys as you can see so in this case I am just using the shape to create a mask so like this you can also using a alpha track mat or alpha invert track mat to create a mask so this is a one way to using a mask now in our uh, lecture I will show you there is a two SME coming in front of a camera so I will also show you how to create a clone effect okay so I'm just creating one more composition clone effect okay and press enter and uh, I have my original black t-shirt footage just drag it over here and I'm just uh, go to that part where I'm talking with that other red t-shirt SME so right now I am act like someone is beside me okay and I'm talking with them so just play and see okay can I please continue now to make sure if you are creating this kind of effect then you must have to steady your camera you don't have to move your camera it should be steady you can use a tripod for this effect can I please continue so guys this effect is see like this this is my first footage when I'm just talk with this red guy and I'm just uh, import my red t-shirt footage here where this is my second footage okay just see in this video we are going to learn the following things about mask can I please continue okay okay so guys this effect first of all in the red t-shirt I am just masking this you can do mask in either one of the footage okay uh, for the easy way I am just using this black t-shirt guy and using a mask over here see okay like this and I'm just ad adjusting the footage okay so as you can see in this video we done. are going to learn the following things about mask can I please continue okay okay see it's so very simple just within five minutes you can create this kind of clone effect which you already seen in many movies web series there is a clone effect so this kind of effect you can easily create using the Adobe After Effect using a mask in this video we are going to learn the following things about mask can I please continue okay okay so it's quite simple now in the last I teach you how to create a vignette effect so first we have a question what is a vignette effect a vignette is a nice finishing step for many compositions and can help you to direct the viewers eye to a specific part of the frame so let's go we can create this vignette effect 
first I am creating uh, one composition I'm just name is as a vignette so vignette okay fine I'm just importing one image input image okay and I'm just set as a composition size so this is our footage so now I'm just creating one solid layer new and select a solid okay just black color okay now to creating a mask elliptical mask just click this or you can also double click on it to create a mask on it okay so now just go to the property here you can see subtract to create a vignette effect okay and I'm just increasing the feather fine I'm just uh, play with expansion like this see now it's look beautiful so like this you can create a vignette effect using a mask thank you guys see you in the next video thank you so much